and now we're back. Had our little break. Uh, what we'll do now is start on the metal. So, because it's sort of a dark metal, I'm going to use vodka metal there. And as usual, no cap. Right, okay, that's going in there. Zoom out a bit. You don't want to see my fingers too much. Right, kill. Cool. Right, a sword, a hat, shoes, breastplate, belly plate, I should say. And here we go. <laughs> so, laying it on. I'm using uh, one of the. What are they called? Heavy metal standard brush. It comes with. The set comes with the large one and a standard one. So I'm just using the standard one at the moment just to lay on this, this paint. And that's that. Uh, I can't tell. I think it was pit, but metally. The rest is just scraps and stuff like that, which we will paint probably. Cool. Um, there's a knife, one of the details you add. And you got loads, I got a little bag on the side as well. the skin is how you like it if you don't like it well I don't know um, but as you can see it's, it's quite nice um, it doesn't look particularly great in this sort of light I should probably get a better light uh, we'll see how it turns out I may add another wash to it it's totally live it's, well not live but live-ish I'm never really painted like this sort of before so I'm trying to do this as fast as I can but the thing with painting is you should really take your time never rush it just trying to cover most of these metallic bits because what we're going to do afterwards just because ochre steel is not going to be the shiniest, so I'm going to add a, another wash on there. That's it. So if I'm just going to watch out there. You don't want to get any on your lovely skin. If not skin, it might be alright. about this damn gut plate and they don't want the, the biggest gut is the leader or something like that. 
protect their gut so they don't get disemboweled, things like that. Lovely. <laughs> um, cool. I think that's it. Hook there. I think that's right. Uh, cool. That looks good. See, I'm holding it on a old paint pot there, the, the blue tack underneath. It just gives you a little bit more control. There we go. Cool. Um, another tip. I've got another batch of water here. This is the one I was using for the flesh, but I always seem to keep your metallics separate. Otherwise, when you wash it, there's a chance that you could pick up some of the metallics in there normal paint. So oh, that's that done. Um, yes, I got the paint around here. That's an empty one. Right, okay I'll be right back. Right, we finished with the bulk of metal for now. So I'm gonna leave that there. We're gonna be using some of the wash at our black. People usually find that this is the most popular one. This is just a standard black wash. So I use this to darken all like metallics, things like that. And this one's actually got a cap on it. Yay, cap! Uh, I'm going to use the standard brush again because I don't really need to cover that much area. So, if I zoom in a bit. I keep putting it the wrong way. There we go. Cool, right. So, I have a wash. Hard to know what to cover with the wash, but I'm just trying to get it just generally on the steel. Just want to darken it a bit. If I could mix up a dark colour steel, possibly. Let's see what happens. That looks alright. Let's put loads on here. It's kind of a heavy wash. Oh, it stinks, I'll tell you that. fingers just to take off a little bit. Steel here. As you can see it's, it's quite hard to do. Stick loads on the belly there, so you can see it goes in all the lovely, lovely crevices, and therefore provides some shading. They're looking great. And if you can hear that, that is a seagull. I don't know why that is a seagull. It's December. I don't even live anywhere near the sea. Up, seagull! Trying to do a tutorial! Uh, that's on there. Dark and Dummies. Ogre Slippers. And they probably got a real name. I have no idea what it is, but that's what we're still going with. Painting. Gotta do some painting. Na 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 na. See, it's hard to talk about 
what are you doing with the painties? <laughs> so I'll just go on a mad vibe and talk about anything. Which I need to talk about, I talk about that. Might wash it again on the sword just to get it a little darker. Let's see what happens. There we go. Um, I'm gonna let that dry, and we'll see you in a minute. Right, it's dry now. Uh, I think a few things have changed since I last spoke. Um, I forgot to paint his metal head, so I've done that now. Um, and there was also some stuff on his wrist I didn't do but what I'm going to do, as I said before I'm going to apply another coat of another wash of um, Pella Black and we'll see what happens right we're back back again oh, red, red. cool now that's the second wash has gone on very very dark now um, it may have left a few streaks and things like that, um, I need to repair that. As I said, a live show, <laughs> but you can see all the metallics are like really dark now. But, uh, what am I going to do? I think we'll use some bulk of metal, I think. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, kind of do a dry brush effect across. So I'm going to be using this old large brush here and I'm pretty much wiping off all the paints I just put on. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. So I'm rubbing it, dry brushing it I should say, across the sword. Across the sword. Don't ask me how much paint you need, because I don't know, <laughs> but I do know it. Um, what it is, you need to really work at it and you kind of get a feel for how much paint you need to put on with the dry brush. Uh, come on. left in there. Uh, I was painting some grey nights recently so my stocks on metallics paint have gone down quite a bit. I can show them if you want. If you want, leave a message and I'll do a video on that. There was stuff with airbrushing me. This is, this is quite weird. This kind of effect has got on here. It's sort of left kind of like a pitted mark from the, the dry brush, from the uh, washing, I should say. I'm just dry brushing this across. Ugh, I have to paint with those fancy brushes. It seems a bit hard to paint on, yeah? Sorry if you cannot see this. Get some better lights, I think. So, do the same on the breast, belly plate, whatever. So we painted it this colour, 
and then we washed it, and then we washed it again, and then we painted it the same color again. Okay. So I'm catching the very tops, very edges, and the uh, bits are showing now. on that, I think. So, usually people say to, to draw your highlights, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna, I'm gonna dry brush the highlights on. <gasps> Crazy. You're mad! I may be mad. Here we go. So basically what we're doing is we're looking on the very edge of the, the sword here. It's kind of like it's been sharpened so it'll be brighter. And it would look less duller on the edge as well. So you can see that. It looks good from my angle. Maybe a bit too much light. See what I've done there. Uh, I'll zoom it in. It's constantly looking at the background. Right. You gonna focus? Focus! You don't want to focus today. Uh, we zoom out a bit more. Can you see that? There we go. So I've dry brushed all around the edges there. I will do the same on the armor, on the helmet, on the breastplate, and I'll get back to 